Hoosier hetero marriage versus pro-homo marriage. What is HJR3? Well, if you go to indianaequalityaction.org, Indiana Equality Action asks the question, what exactly is the Indiana Marriage Discrimination Amendment? HJR6, now HJR3, is a proposed constitutional amendment amendment that seeks to narrowly define marriage in Indiana. The exact wording is as follows. Only a marriage between one man and one woman shall be valid or recognized as a marriage in Indiana. A legal status identical or substantially similar to that of marriage for unmarried individuals shall not be valid or recognized. So, why is the passage of HJR 3, Indiana House Joint Resolution 3, considered a victory for proponents of same-sex marriage? Let's go to the Journal-Gazette, February 18th, 2014. Headline, Modified Gay Marriage Ban Okayed. Foes Claim Win as Earliest Public Vote Now 16 by Nikki Kelly. House Joint Resolution 3 defines marriage as between one man and one woman. Indiana law already says that, but some believe constitutional protection was needed. The House, earlier this session, removed the second sentence, banning anything substantially similar to marriage, including civil unions. If the language had remained, Hoosiers could have voted on the measure in November. But now, the process to amend the Constitution restarts, requiring another separately elected legislature to approve the same language in 2015 before a public vote in 2016. Now, let's go to the New York Times, February 17th, 2014. In diluting measure to ban gay marriage, Indiana shows a shift by Monica Davey. Now this shows why it's such a victory, because it's Megan Robertson, the campaign manager for Freedom Indiana, an anti-amendment group. She says, we wanted to defeat this thing outright, of course, but getting it pushed down the road is a huge victory. Megan Robertson, campaign manager for Freedom Indiana, an anti-amendment group supported by business interests like Eli Lilly and Company and Cummins Incorporated. The truth of the matter is that various Fort Wayne and Indiana businesses oppose a constitutional ban on same-sex marriages and civil unions. Greater Fort Wayne Business Weekly, December 20th, 2013. Fort Wayne businesses oppose proposed gay marriage ban. Four Fort Wayne businesses are part of an Employers for Freedom group launched by a statewide campaign to defeat a proposed constitutional amendment that would prohibit same-sex marriages and civil unions in Indiana. Freedom Indiana announced the formation of the group, which includes six other businesses from Indianapolis and Bloomington. The campaign was organized earlier with support from Eli Lilly and Company and Cummins Incorporated. The Fort Wayne businesses that join the Employers for Freedom group are Fort Wayne Metals, Boyden and Youngblood Advertising, Leasty Media, and One Lucky Guitar, The Good Ones Clothing. Other Indiana companies that join the group are CSO Architects, Lodge Design, Reverie Estates, Road Pictures, Upland Brewing Company, and Young and Laramore. The Tea Party says it's time to take our country back. WoWo AM radio personality Pat Miller tells his Fort Wayne listeners to communicate with Indiana legislators in hopes of establishing a constitutional ban on same-sex marriage. The Pat Miller program could be used to promote a boycott on Fort Wayne and Indiana businesses that oppose a constitutional amendment that bans same-sex marriage in Indiana. If you love hetero marriage as much as the Pat Miller program, boycott Cummins and all pro-homo marriage businesses. As this matter plays out through entertainment news media, 
it appears that disconnecting business interests from Indiana Republican politics over same-sex marriage results in Republican-on-Republican Republican attacks. Let's go back to the Journal Gazette, February 18th. Senator Mike Delf, the Republican from Carmel, says, If we can't get the marriage amendment to the public now, I'm not convinced we ever will. Delf also blamed Senate President Pro Tem David Long, the Republican from Fort Wayne, for controlling the process in such a way that the second sentence wasn't reinserted. You know, a legal status identical or substantially similar to that of marriage for unmarried individuals shall not be valid or recognized. Taking that single sentence from the two-sentence amendment resolution forces amendment proponents to restart their efforts from the beginning again. We see what happened with the changes as a betrayal of the voters, said Chris Plant, regional director for the National Organization for Marriage, which favors a ban. Some lawmakers who press to revise the measure, forcing a delay in a statewide vote, should now expect to pay a political price, he told the New York Times. Republicans who did this, Mr. Plant said, will most certainly be targeted. The way back machine. Gay rights advocates are casting the fight for same-sex marriage as a struggle mirrored in the nation's past, according to the Star Ledger, PolitiFact, New Jersey. By 1958, two dozen states still prohibited interracial marriage. Alabama, Arizona, Arkansas, Delaware, Florida, Georgia, Idaho, Indiana, Kentucky, Louisiana, Maryland, Mississippi, Missouri, Nebraska, Nevada, North Carolina, Oklahoma, South Carolina, Tennessee, Texas, Utah, Virginia, West Virginia, and Wyoming. According to the Journal Gazette, Senator Greg Taylor, the Democrat from Indianapolis, reminded the chamber of a time when it was illegal in Indiana for him to marry his wife, who is white. When you go to Wikipedia, you can find the article, Anti-Miscegenation Laws in the United States. Indiana approved legislation that outlaws black people from marrying white people in the year 1818. The legislation, known as Anti-Miscegenation Law, was repealed in 1965. Let's go back to the Star-Ledger PolitiFact, New Jersey. This is a civil rights issue, Assembly Speaker Sheila Oliver said during a news conference announcing Democratic plans to legalize same-sex marriage in New Jersey. Oliver recounted the story of an interracial couple forced to leave Virginia in the 1950s or face jail time for being married. The U.S. Supreme Court eventually heard Richard and Mildred Loving's case and ruled state statutes banning interracial marriage unconstitutional in 1967. Indiana repealed its state statute banning interracial marriage in 1965. Indiana resident Dean Robinson, also known as recording artist Dean J, was born in 1966.